and welcome to this quick refresher video on how to graph compound inequalities. Now before we teach you how to graph these, we should talk about what a compound inequality is. Well, compound inequality is just like a compound word. We have pancakes, rainbow, grasshopper, jelly bean, bathtub. Uh, those are compound words and we're going to be dealing with compound inequalities. In other words, we're going to have two inequalities and we're going to make them work together, just like these compound words. We have two words and we make them work together. When dealing with compound inequalities, we'll use two words to distinguish how we're going to relate the inequalities. We can use the word and or we can use the word or, and each one acts a little differently. So let's talk about and inequalities first. So here's one. This represents the age that males can serve a mission in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They can leave when they're greater than or equal to 18, but not but it has to be less than or equal to 26. This is an and inequality. Both of these must be true. If we were to graph this, uh, we would need to make sure that the x's are on the left of the inequalities, and they are. We then draw a number line, and I'm gonna make sure that all of these are here. So 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. This would be 28, and down here would be 16. We then need to use, decide if we're going to use open dots or closed dots. Uh, when it's equal to, we used closed points. So I'm going to put a closed point at 18 and also a closed point at 26. We then are going to shade. Since this is x is greater than 18, I'm going to shade to the right. And since this is x is less than or equal to 26, I shade to the left. Now in an and inequality, we are going to shade wherever these overlap, as it says here in the, the third procedure. If it's an and inequality, we shade where they overlap. And the overlap is here in between these two points. That's how we do an and inequality. Let's take a look at an or inequality. We could have x is less than 60, or x is greater than 90. These represents the temperatures that I personally do not like. I don't like when it's lower than 60, and I'm not a fan of when it's higher than 90 degrees. And so we would use an or inequality. In an or, or inequality, you shade all parts separately on the number line. So let me show you. We would draw our number line. Here is 60, here is 50, here is 70, 80, 90, 100, and I would graph these points. Now, notice that these are not equal to. There's no equal to here. So the type of point we're going to use is an open point. And then I'm going to graph each one of these separately. X is less than 60, shades to the left here. And X is greater than 90, well, greater than, that's out here. And so this is how we would shade the or inequality. Notice that and inequalities shade inside the points and or inequalities shade outside the points. I often use the think of the word or as boat oars. You know, boat oars coming out of the boat would shade outside. You know, you'd have boat oars if this were your boat. Here's the boat, you know, I'm not much of a drawer, but you guys get the idea. If we were in a in a boat, the oars would shade to the outside. That's how I remember that oar shades outward. Now, the last thing you're going to need to remember is that when dealing with an and inequality, and inequalities can be written a special way. There's a special way to write them, special way. There is no special way to do an or inequality, but with a with with and inequalities, you can put the low value to the left and use a less than or equal to sign, put the variable in the middle, and then a less than or equal to sign and have your high value. This only works with and inequalities. So for example, with this missionary age inequality, I could do 18 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 26. This is a shortcut way to write an and inequality, and you should be aware that it could be written either of these two ways, with the word and or as a compound inequality. There is no shortcut way for an or inequality. We'll always use the word or.
Okay, it's time to give you guys a couple problems to try graphing of these compound inequalities. Okay, so here's a couple problems. We'll give you three problems to try to show your mastery of these compound inequalities. Go ahead and pause the video and give these three problems a try on, in your notebook. When you're ready to check your answers, unpause the video and I'll work through them with you. Good luck. Oh, hey, welcome back. Let's do it. First thing we need to do is make sure the variables are all on the left and by themselves. That's true. So let's go ahead and graph a number line here. Here's my number line, and I've got a couple numbers. I've got two. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of ran out of room there, but you get the idea. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, I'm going to go ahead and graph, let's see, x is less than or equal to 2. That's right here with a closed dot because it's equal to. x is greater than 8, that's an open dot because it's not equal to. It's an or inequality, so I graph each part separately. So x is less than or equal to 2, that shades to the left. And x is greater than 8, that would shade to the right. That's how we graph that or inequality. Oh, and, and remember, it's or, so it does look like boat ors. Cool. Sticking out of a boat. Let's graph number two. For number two, we're going to graph ourselves a number line. Oh, this is interesting. The variable's on the left, but it's not by itself. We're going to need to take care of that first. I'm going to go ahead and divide each of these by two. So divide by two, so I get x is greater than five. Divide this by five, and I get x is less than ten. And it's an and inequality. Ooh, those shade inside. Okay, so let's do that. So here's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to use an open dot because it's x is greater than 5, so that's open dot. And x is less than 10, that's also an open dot. And we shade the overlap. So this one would go this way. And this one would come this way, and we only shade the overlap because it's an and inequality. Perfect. Let's take a look at this last one, number three. Ooh, it's written in the special and way. Remember, when you see it like this, this is an and inequality written in its uh, shortcut way. So here's four, here's ten. It's an and inequality, so I'm going to shade to the inside. You can also read and inequalities from the inside out. Like if I was to read it this way, this would be x is greater than four, and if I were to read it this way, it would be x is less than ten. So on four we have an open dot, on ten we have a closed dot, and we shade the overlap. Excellent! Thanks for watching this refresher video on how to graph compound inequalities. Keep working hard!